Hey, good morning, my YouTube family. John Viet here. Hey, I hope everybody's having a blessed day, successful week. We're going into the weekend here. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, hey, just wanted to jump on here, make some new content for you guys. It's been so long since I've jumped on here, probably about two months. And uh, just want to go ahead and uh, talk to you guys. And, you know, the question today that I'll be answering is, is it too late to start a pressure washing company or is it the best time ever to go ahead and get started? So I uh, just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and, you know, anybody that finds some value in this video, go ahead and drop a like button down on the video. Also, please leave a comment, uh, you know, how long you guys have been supporting the channel, where you guys are from uh, or any questions you guys uh, have with pressure washing. So the question today is, you know, like I said, is it now a good time to start a pressure washing company? And yes. So as you guys know, I have a 813 agency company. I help everybody set up their Facebook ads in the pressure washing industry. And I talk to a lot of people and I'd say about 75 to 80% of the newcomers are just getting started. And uh, you know, the people that I talk to. So yes, there's a lot of people getting started in this industry. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys some quick tips, tricks, anything that will help you guys out uh, become successful with your new company. So when you get your new company started, it really all starts up here with the idea. You're watching this video. Hey, you know, wow, this looks like a great business to get started in. You guys have been following the channel for a few years now and you want to go ahead and pull the trigger. So <clears throat> the first thing that I just want to make aware is you need equipment, right? So not necessarily you need equipment right away to get started, but to go ahead and really, you know, do your first job, you're gonna need equipment. So you can go ahead and either rent a power washer for your first time, or you can go ahead and invest in equipment. Now, here's where people make some mistakes, right? Is they invest their entire life savings into the equipment alone and leave zero for marketing, right? It should be the other way around. You should leave, invest most of your money into the marketing to get jobs and worry about getting the equipment, figuring all that out later after you already have somebody who's committed to you said, hey, John, I wanna pay you to do the job. Now, there's also some other things that you know uh, go along with that after you have already uh, purchased your equipment, you've done your first job is momentum, right? building that momentum holding that momentum of you know once you've got your first job um primarily i'd say about 90 percent of the people that you know get their first job is through word of mouth friends and family so everybody can get at least one job it's not that hard uh, it's very easy so after you have gotten your first job you've got some equipment built up and you're ready to go ahead and really take this serious you have to invest in marketing. Now, you can either break your company or you can make your company all here because of your marketing and you only have a limited amount of budget that you have to invest into your marketing, right? So what you wanna go ahead and do is, you know, invest your money into your marketing and really grow your business and hold that momentum. Now, in business, you're gonna have waves. So you're gonna, when you first start your company, be up here. Then as your company progresses, you wanna maintain that steady level, that high energy, but you're gonna also have some dips, right? You're gonna have a week, a month, three months, four months where you're getting no business. Now, that's not good, right? You wanna stay steadily busy and this is where you need to master your marketing, right? So if you want to you can go out you can learn your marketing you're going to make a lot of mistakes or if you've already you know kind of made up in your mind hey you know i want to have somebody who knows what they're doing uh, do the marketing for me set everything up teach me train me on how to properly get jobs not only with facebook ads but outside as well that's where i come in so if you need help with that send me a message 843-888-2371 now after you have your marketing down and you have steady jobs coming in, things like that, the next big hurdle is employees, equipment, maintaining, managing your profits, your losses, and become a profitable company. Now, 
this is all up to you and what works best for you um, but you want to have a goal a plan in action to go ahead and minimize your risk and hire your profits right so you want to have a plan in mind on how many employees you want how many you know crews you're going to have out running how much money you're going to budget on your equipment uh accountant your your admin there's a lot that goes into it but those are basically you know the three main things of you know getting into this business is first off getting your first job getting your first bit of equipment then getting your marketing on point and staying consistent and lastly building your company as it should with employees and a structure okay so should you get into pressure washing yes i absolutely think everybody watching this video if not already should start a business will it be hard yes but that's anything in life it does not come easy if everybody was able to do this there'd be rich millionaires left and right right so <clears throat> this is kind of just an inspiration video just wanted to get on here talk to you guys it's been a very long time uh, and tell you hey if you're in the business a and you want to go ahead and get started now is the perfect time as you guys can tell it's summer and uh, you know two is if you've been in the business for a little while and your marketing is not on point you should definitely hit me up let's get on a free strategy call and uh, see if you're a good fit for my business and if I can help you out all right so if you're interested in that again 843-888-2371 and lastly building your business right so if you've got your marketing on point but you're struggling to keep your profits your losses you're spending way too much on marketing and you're not making enough profits um, you need to learn your pricing things like that that comes with time that comes with years and years of experience seeing you know how your company reacts to different phases of your business but it's a journey and you should always keep your head up and uh, you know stay positive with any actions that come into your business so hey i just hope this video reaches at least one person out there ready to go ahead and get started you guys are you know an amazing uh team we're hitting 10,000 here soon i'll be doing a giveaway also highly recommend everybody join the facebook group so until then i'm gonna go ahead and get a workout in i hope everybody's having a blessed day and uh, we'll talk very soon god bless